Hello guys, how are you? Uh, we are back with another new video. This time we'll talk about dynamic memory allocation. Okay, dynamic memory allocation. Okay, so uh, if you realize, right, we have in our uh, um, our slides, right, okay, where we have notes, uh, PDF notes on dynamic memory allocation, where this is the file I'll show it to you, where we you can actually have. Um, a closer look okay on what the file is all about right okay but i'm going to show you in real life how it is being used okay and it is basically a pointer okay so as you see here memory allocation what is memory allocation so we have two types which is static and dynamic okay remember we talk about static and dynamic uh, when we talk about this structure in the previous video okay and uh, static memory allocation okay it runs on compiler time then dynamic memory allocation it runs on runtime i think these are the things that we uh, must have discussed before in class right and we can control the allocation and deallocation of memory in a program for objects and for arrays in uh, many different ways uh, some of the things that you need to know if you use dynamic memory allocation is the two keyword which is new and delete okay and we'll see how we will use it Okay, uh, you can read the rest, okay, uh, to have, uh, I mean, uh, theoretical explanation, but uh, as usual, uh, in YouTube videos, uh, I'll show you how it works in a compiler, okay? So let's go back to our uh, online GDB. Remember this program, okay, from the previous video? We have done inheritance, class inheritance, where we have polygon and we have main, right? And I mentioned something about new, remember? Dynamic memory allocation. And today we will look into uh, in depth how this is to be used, okay? And what it is actually. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to copy this and I'm gonna like put it, right? And I'm gonna delete this off totally and we start with a new uh, space, okay? And run this program, so you'll see that uh, okay there's nothing there uh, polygon in this case is uh, not being used in any way right so I just ignore so just focus on main okay all right so as you know previously when we learn about uh, we learn about uh, mostly array okay I'm going to show you an example with array so if I'm going to like declare an array integer arr and I'm going to like put it there it is compulsory for me to have the size the size of the array yeah the size of the array uh, let me see if the uh, if the um, settings uh, has already has the largest I think we are good I think we're good yeah okay give me a moment so settings right uh large okay that, that's okay right that's large All right so uh if i were to declare an array okay like zero here and say i have another integer i okay and i have for loop okay i equals to zero i lesser than mm, say something okay 10 and i plus plus which we will be using after this right okay and we have several statements here and there and you realize if i'm going to run this program now okay you will see that we will have an error do you see that okay because in any array that you have okay it is compulsory for you to have a size you can do it this way okay but you put 10 and if i run the program then there is no more error right or if you would not like to put the size you can always define the size by straight away assigning the values in this case it is automatically known that this array okay has five values okay uh, five indexes so nothing wrong with that okay right and this is the problem okay because um, you have to determine the size the size of the of the array before you can actually uh, run it so we call it the uh, compiler time error okay but we cannot uh, create a, run a runtime error array so one of the solution is basically to use dynamic memory allocation dynamic memory allocation and how do we do that by using a pointer okay very simple 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a pointer P, right? Sometimes, you know, when you run a program, right? You want a user to key in the number of loops that you want rather than you decide the loop. And you want the number that they have keyed in, okay, to be represented in the array size that you have, okay? And therefore, we use dynamic memory allocation, right? Okay, so as you can see here, right, what I can do first is I can see out and us number of uh, sorry array size okay and i can see in i can add another integer here and call it size so see in size right and then we decide how big uh, i mean i mean the size of the array so what we can do here now is we can have p right equals to new that is the keyword right new right and you can have new integer array and you can key in the size and now i'm going to run the program as you can see right so if i'm going to insert five i will have an error of five if I insert three, then I have an array of size three. And the dynamic array is resizable, okay? In this case, it means uh, I would like it to be a uh, different size uh, if I want to and uh, at any time. So which means even after I have um, P equals to new integer size, I can always have P pointing to another new array, okay? With a different size. In this case, I say maybe 50, and it is still doable. Okay, so you can change the size, which means P will first be pointing to a dynamic memory, I mean a dynamic memory allocation. Okay, it will be pointing to an array of uh, size uh, 5 initially, and then I can change it to 50, right? And this is how we work with dynamic memory allocation. To enable sorry, to enable us to uh, determine, okay, uh, the size of the array after the program runs, okay. Uh, if we do the static array like this, okay, we have to determine the size before we run the program, okay, while compiling, okay, we have to Defined before we run the program. And if you use dynamic memory, memory allocation, you can decide the size of the array or create a, an array of whichever size you want during program execution. Okay. After we run the program or during the program is running. Okay. Uh, and this is how it is uh, being done. Right. So this is what we call dynamic memory allocation. allocation and that's that is that okay so in this case i'll show you an example so uh we don't need this anymore i'm going to delete this and show you the example so array size size new size i'm going to have size and we can do whatever we want here like c in c out or um things that we need uh, to to uh, store in the array okay however okay uh in modern compilers especially online compilers okay there's a, there's a hack to this where you can also use this okay instead of having for example integer arr array here okay yeah i can actually shift this to here Okay, and I put size. I'll see you in the next video.